I'm gonna start this. Hey there, Sam in here, and welcome to my survival jungler. Not we're on RC Race Man's land, and welcome RC <laughs> Race Man. How's it going today? <clears throat> What's up? So we brought you to RC Race Man's castle. I got one thing to say before I get into touring around in his castle. I have to go through for a core zone shot tomorrow for my back, and if I don't make videos for three or four days, you know why? Because I'm pretty gimped up. Hopefully it's going to make me better, but it could make me worse. We'll knock on some wood, and hopefully it don't make me worse. But this is RC Race Man's castle, and he is also taking in builders. His gamer tag is RC Race Man right there. Make sure you send voice message, voice message only, or you will not get anywhere. Yeah, right, right, right. You can also follow him on YouTube. It's RC Race Man. Also, it's the exact same as his gamer tag. So make sure you go check that out. Give him some like and some feedback. Does he really need it? Started an awesome survival server, and this is going to be carried over to Xbox One. And if you really mm -hmm. like to play on Minecraft and survival, mine and his serv ser servers are going to be up and running in full tilt and going for the rest of their lifetimes. Yeah, that's what I got to say about that. And goodbye, Weaving Storm. You are gone. <laughs> He's gone. So here's the front of the castle, which is not as finished as the back of the castle because it's a lot of work for a one-man army, as I, I know because I do a lot on my own on my own server. But, yeah, so we're going to go on in and just have a little look these around and maybe RC can take over the talking and explain what he's going to do and show us what he's got done. If he wants to, if not, I can random lawn and do my own bullshit. <laughs> <clears throat> sure. Well, we started in here putting walls up, but we are going to take these down and put up. I want this to be my throne room. So, um, the castle is set up for redstone lighting. So, like you said, I'm going to take that ceiling out so it'll be higher in this grand entryway. Probably come out both sides here about this far. And in deep and put my throne in here. And then I'll build my rooms off to each side on this floor. Thank you. Come here. Axe versus <laughs> pickaxe. Who gonna win? <clears throat> so, Sandman and... Um, Forzer was in here helping working on this. Got a lot done on this. Still need to do a lot of detailing work. Lots of lots of work. Alright. Out back here, which I'm really liking. Um, Undead Slayer. Come in last night and built my two lions at the back. They look pretty sick. Look sick does and then he's gonna do two lions in the front but instead of doing the cobblestone body it's gonna be the stand or the stone brick body so it's just gonna be reversed in the front i really really like the lions but yes. there's one thing i think you should have built them either like the other ones they yes they look like lions but they're not colored as lions I wonder if you should do, if you might like the sandstone ones better. Do the fact, beard, oops. Yeah, you could even like get orange wool and do the beard and orange. Yeah. <laughs> um, That'd be cool. I really, really like them, but you know when you look at them, they just look like, they look like lines in structure wise, but color wise they don't. So maybe in the future, like if you wanted to, you can always swap blocks out change the blocks to wool colors or something to the the more color skin of a lion right even if like a a birch would would even probably be more of a closer color because it's light and yellowy she orangey yeah, that's, or oak that's wood true. or oak wood because yeah. that's kind of like an orangey color or orange wool or you could make a you can make them look really. I'm not saying they're awesome. I mean, but if you wanted to in the future, now you have the structure of them. You could change them over to more of a liney feel, right? Like a color. They look awesome. Undead is an awesome, awesome medieval builder. He can put some really crazy structures together. Wicked job, Undead. Thank you very much for that, Undead. Very much appreciate it. I'll say that for RC. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here and we go inside here, looking pretty sick. 
I don't really dig in this entrance in here. Then you come up to the second floor where they probably, I'm sh pretty sure you're going to find that you'll have the the king's, um, what do you call the room? The king's room? King's quarters. The king's quarters? Maybe, um, maybe half of it is a, like a dining hall. Lots of space here. We do have lots of space here. And we have tons more levels to go. And I really like this here, being able to walk out on each patio. Yep, going yep. into the towers. A lot of work to go still yet, but it will be getting oh, done yeah. sooner than later, or later than sooner, one way or another. It will be done sometime. Where you been working? <clears throat> plug away after my full-time job. But like I said, everything's, we did everything for redstone. Yeah, he's got redstone room, so if he wants to put redstone lamps or switches in, he can. So, I made it, I made him do it. He didn't want to do it, but I made him do it just for that feature. Yes, he did. I, um, and I'm I, glad. Yeah, I mean, some spots you might not have, yeah, you have to use torches. Like, my castle, I'm trying to, when it's all said and done, I don't want a torch in there, but that's my personal opinion, because I did the whole castle that way, but... Yours, you have uh, options from, like, uh, some floors you're going to have to go with torches because we didn't do it right. for your whole castle. And now this <clears> here, <throat> this um, middle part, um, is not redstone friendly. Um, didn't do it. Um, Horzer started framing this out, and I've kind of just went with it. Oh, I thought you fell off. No, walk I around, look around. It. Um, I, I decided to do a tower on each side and then a tower in the middle just to kind of make it look, the body look full. And as usual, lots and lots of detail work yet to do. There's well. three or four floors on this one alone. Oh, who just joined the party? Goodbye. Yeah, what's going on here? I don't know. I had to mute him. He's making my video go noisy. God dang him. And hey, kids likes to spam things, doesn't he? He's a spammer. He's always either sleeping in the messes or leaving the game. Yep. One way or the other. Well, he's... Um, if if you come up here. Oh. Jump down. See where I went? No, nope, but I'm coming. Oh. Get your ass out of my face, boy! Yeah. <laughs> so this brings you into the middle tower, which these whole things are going to go away. I was just using it to working on the roofs. The roofs. I like how you American people say roofs. You don't say roof. Ruff. It's a roof, not a roof. It's not Ruff. barking. Roof. 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 So <laughs> now, everybody, leave a comment what you think. Um, Sandman thinks my four outside towers are too tall. Um, I look at it as my four outside towers are for my guards to protect my castle. Um, and they should be taller than the rest. But he is kind of right. When you look at it from a distance, they look too tall. So I'm going to take a level down off of one tower and then look at it for a while and see how it looks. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's too tall? The towers on the outside are too tall? I okay. think personally... It's uh, three higher than your normal level, so take three off. That's my personal opinion, but uh, I think we're here. So, and if I take three off... This should be your then... top right here. Yeah. You're still level, you're still, you're just one below your other ones. When I build my castles, I make, I go low, and then my next second level towers are higher than the next ones, and then my third tower is higher than the next one, which makes sense because your castles are going higher as you step up. 
But, I mean, if you're doing it for a self-defense system, then I guess, yeah, your, your way is right. But my self-defense system is it looks at it if they breach the wall, these towers ain't gonna make a difference. We're gonna be down there on the on the ground fighting to get them out of the wall area. I find your towers and your walls where your self-defense is. That's me, but I don't. Maybe well, maybe I'll go watch uh, Game of Thrones and see how theirs is set up. Yeah, there you go. Or see. or YouTube other castles, real light listed castles, and see what they what they look like. <clears throat> so see how their towers are. Know what you think, and that they might be a little bit too tall. But I just want it to look good. Want it to look nice. I like it either way. It looks good that Especially way too. Especially before I put roofs on uh, the roof, roof. Roof. <laughs> you guys sound like you're saying it with an A or something. Ruffs or roofs. <laughs> it's R O O F. There's no. Uh, uh, my buddy John, he does the same thing. That's why I said American people. You guys are both from the States and you both say roofs instead of roof. It's a roof. <laughs> Not roofs. <laughs> so God before damn. I get the roof on, I want to get. Uh, I want to figure out if I'm going to lower them down. And I kind of see what you're saying about having your outside <clears throat> lower and then the inside taller. They just look like they overkill it. That That's personally in my opinion to me. Like, I, I I like it the way it is. It looks awesome the way it is. But to me, my personal opinion, I would take three levels off of it. That it was my castle, three levels would come off. That's, that's all I have to say. You can do whatever you want because I think it looks awesome this way. And I think it'll look awesome the other way. But other than that... It looking well, sick. I'll be checking your damn comments to see what your subscribers think. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So make sure you leave a subscribe. Leave me a like. It helps my channel. I appreciate it. And I'm ending this video there. So hope you guys have a nice day. And thank you for watching. And see you later, alligator.